Hello, Dinky Doo. It's just me, Scotty McClure, with a live pop up. It's Sunday afternoon, and I'm curious. I'm on tonight at nine o'clock sharp, as you know, and I hope every single one of you on Facebook that possibly can join me will join me at nine o'clock British Summer Time live on Facebook Live. You'll see the address just down there where we actually, um, you know, put the title for the show. And of course, I hope you'll be sharing a lot of that. So there we are. But I'm curious because what I'm actually wondering is what do you do on a Sunday? Right? Different people do different things on a Sunday and different people do different things with leisure time. But I thought to myself, I must just pop up and ask the world, what do you actually do with a Sunday? And if you're in the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, what do you do with a Sunday afternoon? I think that's quite an important question as well. So do tell. Come and tell me. And um, if I see your name, I'll give you a bit of a shout out and we can say hi there's Mary Allen telling me she does the slosh on a Sunday afternoon excellent stuff Mary now what form does your slosh take I think you should tell all very very important I'll see you tonight says James Barry you will indeed James and we will have a catch up you and I have still to have a chit chat so don't think I've forgotten about you because I most certainly have not Carlan Thompson dinky do uh, I get Robert, says Charlie Andrews. You become rubber man, Charlie. You relax, you put your feet up, that sort of thing. I watch the click till 9pm, says Gary. So they... <laughs> Excellent stuff. So you all do different things, but I think it's worthy of asking. Because do you never get curious about what everybody does on a Sunday afternoon? I'm always working, Scotty, at East Coast Bride Taxi Owners Association. I usually play my organ and watch Songs of Praise, a wonderful program, says Paul Francis Carroll, who is a very, very fine organist. Paul Francis Carroll, you and I did a program one night, and you appeared on that program, which was fantastic. But the thing is, um, we couldn't actually put it out because it had pieces of music in it. So there we are. So that's what happened to that. If you were ever wondering, that's exactly what happened to that. Circumstances way beyond Scotty McClure's control. I can tell you that for nothing. So don't forget, of course, we'll be popping up tonight at nine o'clock sharp. And of course, every single one of you will join me. But do send that round. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. And make sure everybody knows about Scotty McClure live on Facebook Live on a Sunday evening at nine o'clock sharp. Very, very important. But back to this afternoon. It's afternoon in the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. In fact, it's just before three o'clock on a Sunday afternoon. Now, I know you're all watching this broadcast all around the world. So some of you will be watching in Eastern Standard Time and Pacific Time, etc., etc. So there we are. Lots of you watching. I'm very glad to know that. That's wonderful because it was just a quick pop-up on spec to see what was what. Now, um, also, what would you like to be doing on a Sunday afternoon if you're not actually doing it? Okay, I'll message you my email, says James Barrett. Absolutely, James. There we are. That will do no harm at all. In fact, I don't have Messenger. So you can pop uh, my email. You'll see that on the website there. It says email Scotty. Feel free to do that. Excellent stuff. If you've just joined us, a very warm welcome. If you're wondering what on earth you're watching on your Facebook Live, it's Scotty McClue live on a Sunday afternoon from the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. From the north part of that, from Scotland. And uh, we're just having a general chit-chat. I am the first lord of the internet, and I am the world's top broadcaster. So absolutely no stranger to any of you, I'm quite sure. Hello, says Karen Mercury. Hello, Karen. Lovely to have you with us, and thank you so much for joining on all the pop-up broadcasts this week. 
25,000 of you joined me. And as I say, 2.5 million of you have watched the show from the start on Facebook Live. So it's certainly been worth doing. And it's certainly been worth popping up. And the fun and the laughter and the joy that we've all had is tremendous. So there you are. Hiya, Scotty, says Karen. Hiya, Karen. Dinky do. It's you I'm talking to, big style, which is excellent. I thought I'd just pop up and see who was about on a Sunday afternoon. It's an interesting time. It's not one we're used to doing, so people will not be used to seeing me. But I think that's fantastic. Now... It gives me a chance to have a word or two about housekeeping. Uh, don't forget that Scotty McClue is absolutely across the internet, right? We're deeply, deeply embedded in the internet online. And um, if you want to join me, if you're a business person, come and join me on LinkedIn. So there you are. I've got about, uh, about 8,000 of you, I think, we chit-chat on LinkedIn uh, on a business footing. And that's excellent. If you want me to do a voiceover for your commercial, for your business on television or on radio, if you want me to make an appearance, then we can do all that. And don't panic about the fees. Don't say to yourself, oh, for goodness sake, he'd want a lot of guilt. It depends on what we're doing and it depends on who you are and what you are. We can usually find some sort of budget to suit. So there you are. Excellent stuff. And that would be you having Scotty McClue. A great draw, you see. Oh, what a great draw. Fantastic. The audiences love Scotty McClue. And uh, you can't say further than that unless you can't pronounce your Fs or your THs. So LinkedIn is a very good way to get in touch. Also go on to the Scotty McClue YouTube channel. Right, www.youtube.com forward slash user forward slash Scotty McClue one all one word. You'll see it popping up there. Hello, young man. All right, Scotty boy. This is Finn and Kerry. Of course, Finn. Lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Doo. There's Sharice. Hi, Scotty. Hello, Sharice. Dinky Doo. What we're talking about this afternoon is what do people do on a Sunday afternoon? I think that's amazing. It's high time a big broadcaster signed you up again, Scotty. This is Gary Crossan. Gary, as I say to you, and I know I cannot say spill any beans but there's a lot of very high level meetings take place people are desperate to have scotty mcclure back on their televisions and their radios all the time but it's getting the right vehicle and also the right company and you also have the right sort of producer or commissioner who thinks i get this wow this is huge because a lot of people look at it and go, no, 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 we we do um, we do news, you know, we do what we call um, proper broadcasting. We just play play music all the time. I don't think that there's any room for levity or humour or um, high intelligence or education or um, you know sort of live stuff on what we do oh no no um, no I'm used to commissioning you know programs I can see a series of and buy the series I'm not used to like an individual person who uh, speaks directly to the audience and gets me massive audience figures that way would that not be maybe uh, you know, I mean, that might be something different. And maybe we shouldn't try anything different, you see. So that's always the way that people think they get into a mindset. Are you ready for work on a Sunday? I like my clothes. We're going away in the truck, says Andy Hughes. Dinky do, Andy. Excellent stuff. Sharice is laughing her head off because she knows. I'm absolutely spot on with that. That's what it is. Scotty's on it. Sharice, you're absolutely 100%. And we will find a switched on programmer or a media mogul who goes, I want Scotty McClure. That's what I want for my network. I want live interactive programming that brings me a proper audience. 
I didn't go off. I'm still in my bed, Scotty. I've been ill lately. Your show makes me smile. Lots of love for Irene Garvey. A free week is in. You get well soon, my dear. So there we are. Gerald Mackay. Hi, Scotty. Hi, Gerald. We haven't seen you for some time. And Dinky Doo. Lovely to have you with us. John Hooster's watching. Dinky Doo, John. Welcome, 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 I say. Um, Johnny here says, Sharice, excellent. Where can I buy a Scotty T-shirt, says Marcus Kasman. Marcus, we haven't um, got merchandise at the moment. As I say, the nearest I came to it was the little badge. Remember the little badge on Q96, 96.3? Wonderful stuff. So there you are. And uh, Sharice is all smiles. Excellent. But no, no, we will get, uh, trust me on this, I am talking to very, very senior people and decision makers as well. So there we are. There's Grathilda. Hi, dear. Hello, Grathilda. How are you? Good day, says John Houston. Good day, John. Lovely to have you with us. And uh, Charissa's all smiles there. Excellent. If you've just joined us and you're wondering what on earth has popped up on your Facebook Live, it's Scotty McClue, the first lord of the internet and the world's top broadcaster just saying dinky-doo to every single one of you. Ed McDuff is there and Stephen McFarlane is watching. Welcome, 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 I say, guys. I'm just on my old togs uh, this afternoon, but I thought I'll have a pop-up just to see who's about and ask people outright, what do you do on a Sunday. So there you are. Um, what did you have for breakfast, Scotty, says Grathilda. Grathilda, I had a fantastic breakfast today. I had two eggs and some honey roast ham, and I had them on matzo biscuits. How very interesting. Perry Perry Man, Scotty, you're still the best, says Irene Garvey. I thank you, Irene. And dinky do, because we've got a lot to do. Uh, also, um, serious, serious things. Can I talk to you about money, right? Now, don't be switching off. Very, very important this. Scotty McClure accepts applause or derision on his merits, and there's absolutely no charge for the 110 Scotty McClure one-hour shows that you can get on YouTube. Um, all that sort of stuff. All the Facebook live shows are up there. Uh, porridge says John Houston, he does porridge. And a black pudding, sausage egg, tatty scone, mushrooms and beans. Lovely, Jerice. Very, very good for you. There's one or two uh, things in there that could be construed as windy, though. Uh, do you think I'm smart, Scotty, says Grathilda. Grathilda, I would say you're very smart. Why do you ask? So there you are. And remember, Scotty McClure knows all about being smart. So there we go. Kath Watherspoon's on. I watched the biggest news in New York. So there we are. Trump's choosing his own judge. So there we go. Good. Uh, I like porridge, says Sharice. Yes, porridge, very, very good for you. Yes, the meal. Uh, I had two haggis and egg rolls, says Andy Hughes. That should sustain you. That should sustain you through the day, Andy. Hello, pal. I hope you've had a good day, says Thomas Hamilton. I have have, Tom. Thank you very much for asking. Very, very important. Scotty, a reading, please, says Sharice. Sharice, my dear, what would you like me to tell you? I do see great things for you. I want you to get off cigarette smoking. I want you to uh, calm down within yourself. I want you to do that. Um, and I want you to think about putting that wonderful mind of yours to the best use. So there you are. Very important. Uh, yes, it is, says Sharice. So there we are. How do you know I'm smart, says Grathilda. Grathilda, Scotty McClue just knows these things. Otherwise, I wouldn't tell you. All right. Very, very important. The lighting's not fabulous today, guys. It's fairly basic stuff, but you should be able to see me.
Uh, who does your eyebrows? Says Marcus Casman. In what respect, Marcus? What do you mean? Does my eyebrows? What, what do you What do you do with eyebrows? So they are brilliant, Scotty. Says Sharice. Well, no, that's what I feel about you, Sharice. And I feel it very, very strongly. There's one person that needs to accept your joy, needs to accept your joy and your 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 beauty and your internal beauty, and that's yourself. You must do that. He has starry eyes, eh, Scotty? I don't think I'm smart, says Grithilda. Grithilda, why do you say that? There's Gary Clausen saying, Grithilda, everyone who watches Scotty is smart. This program is for smart people. So there you go. Uh, excellent stuff. Ian Kerr's watching, Dinky Do, and uh, a very warm welcome. If you've just joined us, you're watching Scotty McClure, the first lord of the internet and the world's top broadcaster. So there you go. And as I say, one switched on programmer or media owner, and you will get Scotty McClue delivered to your televisions or your radio sets or whatever platform we're broadcasting on at the time. Uh, Marcus Kasman, do you know any single men? So there you are. It's not something I've given any thought to, Marcus. I would need to uh, have a look. You should uh, go on Facebook Live and have a shout out and see what's out there. Uh, brilliant Scotty, says Sharice. Grathilda, you're breaking my heart, says John Adams. So there you are. Mystic Scotty, says Sharice. Yes, there's a lot of depth to Scotty McClure, Sharice. There we are. We operate on many, many, many different levels. It depends on the audience at the time, the time of day, the time of the month, the time of the year, the time of the week. The, 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 the space in that minute, you never know the moment when suddenly your life all comes together. There's two wonderful days in your life. One is the day that you are born. The other is the day that you find out why. So there you are. All right. Two wonderful days. I love you too, says Grithilda. Excellent, Grithilda. We love you. There's big love out there. We're talking to the whole universe here. Don't be fooled when you see the numbers at the top of the screen. This broadcast goes out to millions. All right. So there you are. I love you, Sharice. You're a wonderful lassie, says Gary. Love is love, says Sharice. Sharice, have you ever been in Love, yeah, you may well have been, right? I think you'd be a wonderful person to be in love with. I think you have a lot of love to give, right? But as I say, the most important person that has to accept all these things is you. So there you are. Yep, I've still to find out, Scott, eh? Says Sharice. Oh, listen, I haven't even scratched the surface yet, Sharice. And I'm 32. Can you speak Lithuanian, says Grathilda. No, I don't speak Lithuanian, Grathilda. You must forgive me. And don't think for one second that English is any better than your own beautiful language. So there you are. But you must forgive me. I don't. Love is in the air, says John Adams. Yes, every sight and every sound, John. Uh, yes, I do, Scotty. Says so is good. Excellent stuff. So there you you know about what it's like to be in love. Is that not fantastic? So there you are. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. I'm just reading this. We're just perching today. So I hope this is all right for you. Tell us a poem, says Marcus. So there we are. Oh my goodness, Marcus. I could tell you millions of poems. But there we are. But of course, they are copyright. If you want to hear Scotty McClue's latest novel, get yourselves onto YouTube and put in Scotty McClue, Deliver Us From Evil and listen to chapter one. Uh, can we meet each other, Scotty? I'm only 40, says Grathilda. Excellent. Yes. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm so much younger than you, Grathilda. I'm 37. You see? 
<laughs> so we need to learn Lithuanian. How wonderful is that? Sharice is, is, is crying with laughter. Crying with laughter. She loves all this. Right, there we go. Uh, I think you're in there, Scott. This is Gary. What's he like? My goodness me. All that Scottish way. Right. Uh, can I have thumbs up and hearts and all the rest of it? Let me know you're watching. Can we have some shares? So that would be wonderful. So if we want to do a bit of sharing, that would be absolutely fantastic. I can't see. I've moved the screen and I can't see what I'm doing here. Loving it, loving it, says Grathilda. Excellent. And uh, are you in Lithuania, Grathilda, did you say to me? How's life, Scotty? Life is very, very beautiful, Grathilda. Uh, Marcus Casman says, can I work for you? Why on earth would you want to work for Scotty McClue? I'm actually a very, very good person to work with, I've been told. I've been told I'm a peach to work with. What does that mean, for goodness sake? Rathilda says, do you smoke weed? No. <laughs> Most certainly not. Nor would I ever be interested in doing so. So there you go. I can't see Grathilda, says Charisse. Well, there we are. You'll have to have a look. I used to love your late night shows, Scotty. Are they still available? Irene, they are. If you go onto YouTube and put in Scotty McClure YouTube channel, there's 500 of them there. Uh, blocked us, I think, says John Adams. Are you blocked, John? Have you been blocked? Blocked. Who's blocked you? Do tell. Spill the beans, I say. If you've just joined us, folks, remember, the main show of the week is 9 o'clock sharp tonight. Come and work with me, Scott, says Grathilda. What sort of work do you do, Grathilda? Rab's watching, dinky-doo, lovely to have you with us, and a very warm welcome to our Sunday afternoon pop-up. It's been a very interesting week for pop-ups, guys, and we have done so many of them. Uh, tremendous. He's, he wants to be a hippie, says Sharice. I don't want to be a hippie. Sharice is buckled. So there you are. A hippie, hippie shake. That's what you'd get. So there we go. Um, now, big question. Cooking food, Scotty. Beautiful, beautiful. What's Lithuanian food? What's your favorite dish? Tell me how you do that then, Grathilda. Excellent stuff. Lithuanian food. Sounds very, very nice. Do we have Lithuanian restaurants in London? Uh, do you have kids, Scotty? Um, do I have kids? No, for goodness sake. <laughs> Far too young to start a family yet. My goodness me. Marcus is moving to Lithuania. Excellent. There we go. Um, I'm not sure exactly how one gets there, Marcus. They are, but I would imagine there are, uh, there are direct flights. Wonderful. Uh, you're watching Scotty McClue, the one-stop broadcaster, first lord of the internet. We've just popped up for a Sunday afternoon, and um, I just thought I'd say hi to all of you. Andy Hughes, I'm making macaroni and cheese. Very, very nice. How do you do that, Andy? What do you use? Do you use the cheddar? Uh, love mac and cheese, says Karen. Me too, Marcus. Let's all move to Lithuania. Uh, me and Anne-Marie are going to listen tonight, says Thomas Hamilton. I should hope so, Thomas. Uh, Stephen Sam Tannehill, dinky-doo. Is this the first date? John Adams, remember not to blaspheme, especially on a Sunday afternoon. A lot of young people watching and a lot of very devout people watching. Uh, are you on Snapchat, says Marcus. Marcus, I don't think I am on Snapchat. I'm on Instagram. I'm on uh, LinkedIn. I'm on YouTube. I'm on, what else am I on? Twitter, at Scotty McClue. Why don't you all go and follow me on Twitter, at Scotty McClue. Hello, says Wilma Hamilton. Hello, Wilma. Lovely to hear from you. Haven't heard from you for some time. Uh, poor old Scylla Black, says John Adams. What about Scylla? Scylla's passed now, actually. So she's moved on. To the big, uh, the big place in the sky. Excellent. The big, the big stage up there. Fantastic lady, Scylla Black. And uh, Scylla started at the Cavern Club in Liverpool. They are used to have a lot of callers that knew her when she was at the Cavern. I loved Blind Date. R.I.P. Priscilla. So there you go, Sharice. Yes, Blind Date. Yes, number one. Question one. It's a number one. Uh, so there 
Cool. Tell me something about my friend Vlad Vladix. There we are. I don't know. I don't. I would have to have a think. I would have to put my antenna on Vladix. Where can I buy your hat, says Marcus? Ah, this one was bought in Ilkley. So there you are. Now, Ilkley Moore, which you'll have heard on Ilkley Moore Bat Hat. Uh, Scotty! So there we are. Be my da, says Rab. Excellent stuff. Wonderful, Rab. Right, uh, if you've just joined us, a very, very warm welcome, of course. You're part of a much, much bigger and wider family on here. Uh, the House of Brewer, Scotty. So there you go. Just doing a wee advert for you, sorry. So there we go. Wonderful. Um, and uh, it was Ilkley I got this hat. And I can remember um, on Emmerdale at the time, there was a character called Jack Sugden. And I remember coming out the shop in Ilkley and I put my cap on. And uh, this guy comes out of a pub and goes, hey, it's Jack Sugden. So there you go. Wonderful. Tell me something about my beautiful best friend, Brigitte, says Grathilda. Yes, again, I would need to put my antenna on Brigitte. Do you wear glasses, says Marcus? I have done. I don't have them handy here because I don't need them. I used to wear them all the time. And then I realized I was looking over them and that I can see... Uh, what's going on here, but it's very difficult to see close up wearing the glasses. Oakley, that's done feral in Scotty. So she says, no, this is Ilkley in Yorkshire on Ilkley Moor. On Ilkley Moor, batat. On Ilkley Moor, batat. On Ilkley Moor, batat. And um, it means just without a hat. But I had a hat on. Uh, Pics of Scotty behind the show. Do you smoke cigarettes, says Marcus Kasman? Not for 20 years. So there you are. Brigitta said she loves you, said Grathilda. I thank you, Brigitta. Bless you. Bless you. Wonderful. I uh, thought you said Oakley. So she says, no, no. Ilkley. She says, Ilkley Moor, bad hat. On Ilkley Moor, bad hat. So there you are, an Oakley Moor without your hat, but, but your hat, watch your hat. Scotty, what do you know about um, the Scottish Cup final? Jamie McAvery, we don't really do football on here. So there you are. So uh, that's why um, everybody knows Scotty McClue, though, of course, and most people that have got a football club know Scotty McClue. Uh, so there we are. I can't see Grathilda. How's that? So she says, I don't know. She says, you ask me these questions about your Facebook. I'm not my sister's keeper. I have not got a clue what's happening on your Facebook. So there you are. Uh, me and Brigitte come to see you soon, says Grathilda. Thank you, Grathilda. How many college diplomas do you have, says Marcus Gasman? Stacks and stacks and stacks of them. So there you are. And, uh, and degrees. So there you go, all that. Uh, I make my own cheese sauce. There you are. And then put it into the oven. I think you're about to be bundled in the, to the back of a van and driven to Lithuania. There's two of them, says Gary. Uh, no, this is Blind Date Love Channel, says Sharice. You've got Chanel there, Sharice. Uh, tell me something nice about me, Grathilda. You are a very interesting, attractive young lady. You have a lot going on in your life. And you must decide what you want to do with your life. When you decide, things will start to happen big style. So there you are. But take a chance to take stock and think. Very, very important. Do you wear any jewellery? I don't, Marcus. I used to wear a, a lovely big gold ring that my father gave me with my initials on it. And the house got broken into once and it got stolen. The wee thieves took away the personal stuff, and I was absolutely heartbroken. So there we are. Uh, I need weed, I think, says Cherise. No, you, do you need we, did you say? You could probably attend to that yourself. Tuned, tuned. Uh, I'm Marcus, she's a stud. Says John Adams. Says what of nonsense. Never had so much nonsense in all my life. If you've just joined us, a very warm welcome, folks. 
You're watching Scotty McClue, Big Style, Facebook Live, Sunday afternoon. We're just seeing who's about. I remember you gave the ring to me, says Grithilda. I'm in love with you. Oh, that's rotten, says Karen. It was Karen. It was rotten. I think the wee burglars don't realise. Cause us are keen just to get some money. They don't realise that stuff is worth way, way, way beyond any monetary value. So there we are. Sharice, need a pee. Thanks, Sharice. Too much information, dear. You press on. And uh, still keep in touch with Doddafy Hamilton. Uh, yes, I keep in touch with a lot of my callers. So there we are. And uh, a lot of it on Facebook. Facebook Live, excellent stuff. Get yourself on there. Google Plus. I don't know how they sleep at night. No, I don't. You know, it's it's crazy. But uh, these people are psychotic. They're sociopaths. They don't understand feelings themselves, you know. And yet they're the ones that get upset if anybody takes something from them, you know. No matter how tiny they go, well, what are you doing? That's mine. You think, yeah, but why, why would you go stealing? They're going to say, think about about other people. So there we are. Um, Banner, Banner, she's bringing up drugs. I never said weed. I said a pee. She said weed. So she, she said she'd weed. So there we are. Right, Scotty, my friend, Renus likes you, says Grathilda. You've got all these lovely, lovely friends, Grathilda. You sound like one of the luckiest girls on the planet. So there you are. Fantastic stuff. Anyway, it's time I wasn't here, for goodness sake. I just popped up to say hi and to say dinky-doo and to tell you, right, demand that you join me tonight at nine o'clock sharp live here on Facebook Live. I'll see you all then. Until then, this is Scotty McClure saying dinky-doo to every single one of you. You get sharing this video now and go on to Scotty McClure's website and you'll see PayPal. If you can spare a fiver, stick it in there. Right, because what we're going to do, it means we can advertise the show. We can buy little bits of equipment. So there we are. What about Roxanne off Big Brother? Six months. Uh, so there you are. <laughs> Cheers, Scotty. See you at nine, says Karen. My friend Brigitte is to her hurting. Tell her to sit down. Salt water for her toe. Tea time soon. See you at nine. Uh, can you give us advice what to do? Yes. Coarse salts and warm water. Bathe her foot. I'll donate a thousand pounds, says Marcus Kasman. You pop off and do that then, Marcus. You'd be better going to GoFundMe for Scotty McClue. GoFundMe.com forward slash Scotty hyphen McClue or the PayPal on Scotty McClue's website, www.scotty hyphen McClue.com. Dinky doo. Thank you very much, my darlings. Oh, to those of you who have donated a massive Massive thank you. Very important. Do you eat salad, says Gathilda? Of course, you can tell by my fine figure. I am a salad man. Tony Bamford's just joined us. Come live with me, says Gathilda. Gathilda, dinky-doo from Scotty McClue.